Let me finish up this section of the course with a discussion on the differences between interlaced and progressive video. Video images like those you see on your television consist of two interlaced fields that together make up a single frame. This approach was introduced when TV was first invented due to a technical limitation that prevented a full frame from being progressively drawn on the monitor from top to bottom without a noticeable visual shuddering. The result is that as an image was being displayed, it appeared as though it was being wiped on the screen. By breaking up the image into two fields or two halves and displaying one after the other, this artifact was eliminated. You can see that over here in this diagram. I have the first field, which has a one in it, and a second field, which has the two. And when they're combined together, you can see them overlapping. This is the frame that results from interlacing or mixing the two frames together. That's why you'll hear the term interlaced monitor or interlaced video. Now this legacy technique has been a tremendous obstacle in the digital age of video and computers. Luckily it's been eliminated from newer video standards for high definition television which are progressive. The images are drawn in one pass from top to bottom. A single group of lines is known as a field. Here's one field and there's a second field there. The two fields are referred to as the upper field and the lower field, or field one and field two, or odd and even, top and bottom. Unfortunately, there's no standard nomenclature for this. With real video footage, the two interlaced fields often look very similar to each other, and no visible artifacts appear when looking at a video frame on a computer monitor. However, with video footage that includes high motion material that changes quickly, such as the movement of a camera or people in the frame, very noticeable field artifacts can appear. This is when the fields are displayed together on a computer monitor, giving the image a ghost-like quality. This is due to the composition of the two moments of time together in one frame, like I have here. Here's another example. The image on the left here is an interlaced frame. In the image on the right, one of the fields has been eliminated to produce a de-interlaced frame. Notice how much more clear and crisp it is. Therefore, to display crisp video on a computer monitor, video frames must be de-interlaced by eliminating one of the fields. Half the information of each frame is discarded and the remaining information doubled or interpolated. For NTSC, this results in 30 frames of 30 distinct points in time. Modern video standards for digital television have favored progressive scan display techniques instead of the interlaced displays. However, progressive scan video cameras usually have the ability to switch back from progressive scan to interlaced video, and most of these cameras have a variety of frame rates with and without interlacing. Typical frame rates are described as 60p. This stands for 60 frames per second progressive. 30i, which is 30 frames per second interlaced, 30p, which is 30 FPS progressive, and 24p, 24 frames per second progressive. When working with progressive images, there's no need to de-interlace footage before deploying to the web. So this will save you a step, although most modern video editors can also de-interlace the footage for you before you deploy it to your web projects such as FLV Video in the case of Flash.